Welcome to Makers International, a podcast of makers from three countries, two continents, and featuring five guys separated only by the same language. Here's your host, Richard Morley. Hello, 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 hello. Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night. Good times, whatever time it is, wherever you're listening, join me as always, Mr. Chris Cute. Hello, peoples. And Mr. Alan Robinson. How you doing, fellas? And Mr. Joe Whitaker. You're right, Samuel. And. Jamie Page. <laughs> oh, real <rubbish>. bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Great, my first bleed. <laughs> <laughs> edit, edit, Joe. Edit, Joe. Not Chris even a minute in. Not even a minute in. Awesome. How's it? You're real. Uh, I'm all right. But, uh, I just woke up. Every time we don't have a guest, we just sit here and giggle at each other like a bunch of idiots. <laughs> yeah, um, there's a reason for that. It does seem <laughs> <We didn't> get... <laughs> bunch so... of idiots. <laughs> <laughs> right. Let's try and get this show back on at least some kind of ancient cobbled causeway. Um, this week's shout outs and thank yous go to The Woodworking Shed, Nick Zametti, Highland Boxes, Crosscut Creations, KSFWG, Andrew McQuillan, and Jim Dockrell. Um, big thanks to everyone who hit the like button and shared all our stuffs on social media from last week, etc., etc. Don't forget, we're all over the socials, um, just like Alan's all over here his mic at the moment. Um, da, 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 a quick run through the sponsors. So uh, today's podcast is brought to you in part by the Toolmasters Association. Save, build and learn. To find out more about the Toolmasters Association, how to sign up today, visit izzyswan.com forward slash toolmasters. Uh, also Yorkshire Grit, the wood turner's abrasive paste. For more info, visit yorkshire-grit.com and also Chad from Mancrafting, who is still giving away one of his mugs each month. So uh, one of our lucky listeners should win one of those soon. If you want to find out more, visit makersinternationalpodcast.com forward slash sponsors. That's right. That and uh, well, yeah, and we also got another giveaway today uh, starting where you can win. A one-year membership to Izzy Swan's Toolmasters Association. It's to use uh, the exactly the same means as uh, winning as uh, the cup, which which we are going to announce at the end of the show. Uh, you can go over to the Facebook page and uh, click on a link, which will take you to the website, um, and you can do, enter your details into there. Again, it will ask you for your web uh, your email address and your name so we can contact the winner afterwards uh, there's a way a means to get extra of entries just like last time or you can go directly to magazineinternationalpodcast.com scroll down and click on the Toolmasters Association giveaway picture and that will open up the Glee map and yeah you can you can win a, a pretty awesome prize there. So thank you to Izzy for giving us that. Awesome. That. And and if I may add, or ooh, ooh. if all that sounds confusing to you and you're wondering, what do I go to? What do I do again? Simply look in the description of the show today down below where it says click see more, click see more. And then right there, it'll say TMA giveaway link. Click on that link and it'll take you directly to how to you can enter. Because we try to make things simple, even oh, yeah. though we fail every week at it. And I know, you and, think and we'd be good at that because we're all simple. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's actually a really cool price because they don't they correct me if I'm wrong, Chris. They have some quite good money off discounts with all sorts of like, yeah. people that are involved with TMA, don't they? That's yeah, that's I, I, a I, good I, potentially honest, a, a, an expensive prize. Uh, honest endorsement. Yeah. I um, I signed up when Izzy started it. That was way back in January. Uh, by February 1st, the amount of money that I had saved already paid for my one-year membership. So, yes, it is a, it is a great uh, thing to get involved with. And Izzy's doing a lot for the community with that. Um, and uh, you get it's not like you're not getting anything for your money because you are. If you're, if you're interested, in, interested mm -hmm. in buying some tools, there are some excellent vendors out there. Izzy doesn't have people on there that don't have awesome customer service. So if you're looking to buy something, you can get it there and you can get it at a discount that most people will not ever get. For, for me, add, per, I'm going to go enter my own giveaway right now. 
Yep. For me personally, I think the money that you pay is worth the classes and just uh, the community itself. Yeah, and there's classes that, that are done on a weekly basis, and the community over there just friggin' rocks. So, yeah, there's a lot of pluses to going to the Full Masters Association. That, that kind of has Izzy written all over it, though, doesn't it? Because you're kind of it, getting into yep. something which is supporting Izzy, but at the same time, you're actually getting back more than you're putting in by supporting him in the fact, which is... Yeah, and you know, I, I'm, and I'll be honest with you. I'll, I'll be honest with you. And Izzy won't say this out loud, but Izzy takes the majority of that money that the Toolmasters Association generates, and he puts it right back into the community. Um, and it, it's not something that he takes to the bank and walks away going, "He he he he, I got all this money now." He now he, he uses it for the community, and he also puts it back into the Toolmasters too. So, because uh, you know, there are also monthly build offs. Like every month, I've talked about how I never have have yet to get involved in one of the <laughs> monthly build offs. But this <laughs> this month, I did it. This month, I did it. But uh, the, all the prizes that Izzy gives away on those monthly build offs, you know, they're not given to him. He goes out and purchases them. And he gives them away. So it's uh, money out of his pocket. So it's not like he's making money, uh, you know, hand over fist over this thing. He's doing it for the community. Yeah, that's, yeah. Pretty, that's pretty cool. And like I said, it's got Izzy written all over it. Yep. Do we have, before we, um, I'm trying to drag out the initial part of the uh, the show as long as possible, uh, knowing what the main topic actually is. <laughs> so do, do we have like several volumes of... Um, random listener questions or anything you, anyone would like to bring up um i've Chris? got a whole i've got a whole list of questions here if you guys want to start getting into questions i've got like <laughs> bunches <laughs> bunches of them but you know we may want to save some of these until later because we do actually do have a topic to talk about today um oh yes we do don't we richard <laughs> 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 uh, we can go through a couple of them real quick, though, Look, Richard. If you're looking to fill some time, no, honestly, I was put my teeth back in. Um, it, it was just you know because normally if we have any random list of questions, anything that pops up last minute on the show. But um, I think okay. we're planning at some point to have like a Q and A episode. All right, then uh, everybody who said not right. Everybody who sent these questions in, sorry, we're not answering them today. Uh, that's Richard's fault. Okay, go ahead. But yeah. <laughs> That's a load of people out there that's just gone from team route to team scroll. So, thank you. <laughs> I don't think I'm that crazy. Everything is Richard's fault. So what, you know what, I'm, I'm a member of this podcast, I think, uh, and I don't even know for sure what this is we're talking about today. What is team router and what is team scroll saw? Would somebody explain that to me? I think that's got to be, I'm, till, I'm team router, the intelligent block. So say that again. I'm Team Scroll for the intelligence. Yeah, that, yeah, that's <laughs> what I thought. That's what I thought he said. <laughs> that's not getting edited. <laughs> yeah, that'll, I know. Be, that'll be the opener. I, again, I've just said I've just woke up. <laughs> that's no excuse, Jamie. <laughs> the truth comes out. Uh, truth will out. Right. So, so yeah, what actually are we talking about, Jamie? Because I remember a couple of shows ago, I stupidly made some passing comment about. I'm going to do a scroll saw project that turned um, into me doing a scroll saw project, but now we're doing loads of other things. The reason well, I'm asking well, is because everyone's asking me. Doing, we're still doing a uh, a scroll off, and we're still doing a router off. If you like, that sounds that, that sounds kinky. Anyway, <laughs> and, uh, that sounds very dangerous. <laughs> so uh, the route that the scroll off started off as me versus Andrew McQuillan because we've still got the same scroll saw. Andrew seems to have gone a bit quiet, that's so I think he's running scared. That's what, yes, I remember now, because you said, and then I said, oh, I've got the same scroll saw as well, and that was the, the heffalump trap that I fell into for me doing the scroll saw project. because yeah, you, right. you have information that you've got that scroll saw as well. Okay, but so again, these ways, Andrew so seems to be running scared. Okay. Are you done? So this seems to be this, <laughs> this is a little confusing to me. So the, we actually are having a challenge going on with the scroll saw. Yes. Yes or no? Yes. 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 Else, yeah, and I'm going to say if there's anyone else out there that's got a record power SS16V <laughs> that wants to take part, so it's it's all completely fair. Then they can let, let us know and they can take part. It's, it's got to be that man, scroll saw. Okay. okay. All right. well, that's, that's fine. I totally get that. You know, in the, the interest of scientific research and consistency and all the rest of it. But pretty much all these tools are made by the same Chinese sweatshop, aren't they? 
and then they're just rebranded and Opposite. dished out to. Yeah. I mean, they certainly look not distant. Yeah, I suppose so. So what Opposite. we could Opposite. do, I think, I think what we should if, do if we if we basically keep it to a cheap sixteen inch scroll saw, no, no, the Walt seven eighty eight, which are like twenty inch scroll saws. As long as it's a standard sixteen inch scroll saw. Yeah, I'm not gonna answer. In other words, in other words, Richard, what the deal is here is Jamie's trying to get a sponsorship. So please don't mess that up for him, okay? Um, <laughs> no, no, no. I'm, I, okay, but can, can I can I finally ask the question I wanted to initially ask before this went off the rails again? Um, there is a challenge going on. Yes or no? Not a hard question. Yes. Okay, great. What's yes. the what's the cutoff date? When do the projects have to be done by? I've no well, idea. What do you say? We just, what do you what do you say? We just sign on we that. Have, we haven't even just. Yeah, let's, let's get a date started. Let me get a, let me get a pen down. <laughs> Who is Team Intelligence again? <laughs> wow. Right, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, uh, listening to this podcast and or watching today, you now see what I go through in between times that we do this thing, trying to organize these people. It's not yeah, right. and it's not pretty, but we're trying. <laughs> Uh, tell you what, I'm trying to figure that out. I've just actually put in the chat, live watching now, a straw polling so those watching can actually cast a vote whether them team okay. scroll saw or team razor. So All that's right. in the chat now for everyone watching. Can I vote? Awesome. So, yeah. I, but I, 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 I would like to, I would like to suggest a date. Doesn't mean that we have to have it. I mean, we can go with however Joe wants to set this up. But I was thinking that if we set the date as our October 29th show, that is going to be our Halloween show. Okay, right. so maybe maybe we could set the date that they have to be done by by October 29th, and maybe, maybe just and you know, and I know it's not a huge thing over in the UK, but maybe they could all be based on a Halloween theme. Ooh. And that oh, I, gives I you, have no problem with that. That gives you I've over no, a month. I ain't got a problem with that. Over, it gives you over a month to do the project. And then have it done uh, and ready, readily to be shown and, and aired to people and put out on social media by the 29th of October. Yeah, that seems yeah. fit. That seems I'm, fit. I'm happy with that. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? I oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Sorry, that was my cell phone. Oh, I thought that was Alan. I thought that was Alan passing wind. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, that's my cell phone going off. This is my green fog. Hello. <laughs> I'm extremely rude. Don't mind me. <laughs> Turn off the volume. How about that? So, that, so there we go. Now, is that got to be? Uh, is that the guidelines for the router thing too, or have, we haven't talked about that yet? Is that just the scroll saw? Yeah, let, let's get let's get one. Yeah, sorry, the scroll first. saw. Yeah. See? I mean, okay, so the scroll saw challenge goes from now until October 29th. They must be done and posted on social media and hashtagged Makers International or something like that so that we can actually find them and look at them. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what yeah. we can do. I'm assuming now, I'm telling you what we can do, and I don't even know, but is it possible we can set up a gallery in the Facebook group, the um, Mix on YouTube Facebook group, and then post it to there? Or if people put like a specific, if we work out some hashtag and we see it, when we could yes, Richard. Yeah, the the answer is, yes, yes, Richard, you could do that. I yes, could Richard, do that. You could do that. Okay. Yeah, so if, if, you, if, you, if you have a certain <laughs> hashtag, then uh, yeah, and you want to find it. That's good. Okay. So should we, should we think of a, a hashtag? Or if you're sitting in the chat just wondering what the hell's going on, we could have a hashtag. Everybody's uh, wondering that right now. Hashtag, <laughs> hashtag, hashtag story is better than router. Yeah. Hashtag WTF is going on here. Yes, that's <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's going okay. on. I just work here. <laughs> I'm glad we have these organizational meetings live when we're on because it's you know it makes things so much easier. It makes us look so much more professional too. Um, I was going to say human. It makes us look human. I'm actually I'm really concerned about <laughs> what audience we have over here because we've got five votes for scroll saw and only three for router. So I don't know what we've been wrong. <laughs> That's bad. That's a bonkers. Who are, who are these people in the chat? We need to talk. <laughs> we need to talk. Uh, you know, exactly. This, this here is actually an episode I could have just sat back and said nothing, and most of the time I just let my work do the talking for me. <laughs> no, you go ahead. I, you know what, Jamie? I, I actually, you've made more sense than Richard so far, and you just woke up, so go right. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, I was going to say, did, you know, you let your work do your talking for you, and then how long? How long have you been working on that tiger for? How many hours? Thirty. So slow. 
it's yeah that was a 30 hour project now real, realistically jamie knowing that you don't you didn't spend 30 hours straight in your shop and that obviously you've got other life commitments you have to do that was basically i'm going to assume the better part of a week that took you to do that yeah okay they're about yeah all right and so now now we have over four weeks before the next one is due so richard's in trouble yeah and and the next one who okay now my next question because there's a challenge here and this is part of like putting challenges together are we going to have a winner and are we, are we going to have a loser i'd say so yeah why not i mean i've got i've got nothing to you know really bring to the table when it comes all to anybody's sport. been talking about for like a week i didn't know there was nothing actually planned yeah. <laughs> alan, alan this is why we're having this little meeting today this is why we're having this is a live today. podcast we do our meetings. this is a live <laughs> podcast and yeah this is exactly how we get things done around here because it's and, and i just want people to witness how many teeth i have to pull to get something put together <laughs> um it's enjoyable. So, it's okay. <laughs> so okay, let me let me ask another stupid question. Um, who's judging it? Can I? Uh, I will can judge I? it. Alan can judge it, and Joe can judge it. How's that? Yes. That sounds. I'd I'd like to say that's fair, but I know that Alan had, dislikes the scroll saw a hell of a lot. Joe dislikes the scroll saw a hell of a lot. Uh, Chris is. I'm gonna say hate, neutral. No, I hate or, the scroll saw. I pretty much hate the scroll saw. He needs to work. <laughs> All um, right. See, there you go. Then over. I'm pretty much screwed. Competition's over. Router wins. Let's go on. No, no, no. no. <laughs> well, no, no. Because I mean, wait, wait, stop. Wait. Let's clarify this because yeah. the challenge we're talking about right now is just scroll saw challenge, right? Yeah. Okay. So you, it's it's going to be two scroll saw projects put side by side. I don't have to do either one of them, so I'm going to love them both. That's um, it's just <laughs> the way it's being judged, not how it was done. So exactly. So, hey, Jamie, rest. Put your fears aside. We can handle judging this and being non-biased. <laughs> Richard wins. Richard's gonna win. Richard's gonna yeah, easy, win. Easy, easy. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Chris. Kind of get three impartial, three impartial judges. I know, like Charles Deering, Sterling Davis, and <laughs> all right, <laughs> something like that. Uh, then, 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 all right, then Jamie, let's do this. Let's do this. How about we leave it up? If Richard decides to do his little work there and put something together on our Facebook group, or maybe even on our oh, I don't know, website. Uh, we, <laughs> we could have our listeners judge who wins and who loses. That way, yeah, it's totally out of our up. hands. That we is put a poll up, poll up in our Facebook group. Okay. All right. Let's do that. I mean, the, the bottom line is I, I'm really not fussed about, you know, winning, losing, you know, it's the taking part. <laughs> um, <laughs> 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 but, you know what? No, it's deadly, deadly oh serious. I absolutely, I hate scroll tour. I've done two scroll tour projects this well, I've done one and a half scroll tour projects in the last week. Because I did the first one. You've I went done on more than me, so I think you like it. <laughs> no, that's the thing. I didn't even finish the second one because I was just pulling my own. I just went, do you know what? I'm not even going to bother finishing this because I just, I, I hate it. I don't want to do it anymore. So for me, I, I don't like scrolling. I, I, for me, it, is, it takes too long. I'm too impatient. I'm no good at it. What's the point? Everyone hates me. You know, terrible. I hate it. But I can still appreciate a nice you know, it doesn't even have to be a complex picture i appreciate the finished result and i think that you know without the checks are in the post by the way guys i, I think everyone that's you know gonna cast their opinion can do the same thing you know it's not yeah okay no I, I agree with you i agree with you all right so we've got the scroll saw is, challenge is settled it's going on from now until october 29th it's halloween themed and the they need to be posted on our facebook uh group page makers on youtube and the winners will be chosen by our listeners right absolutely okay yeah. so sewn that one up <sighs> deep breath everybody i may have to open another beer okay <laughs> okay Round anyone Let's talk it, about the router. Richard, um, don't interrupt me while I'm trying to organize things. What's your problem? Are you the host or something? Um, I'm not, not finished the scroll saw thing yet. Because what about everyone else? We talked oh, about like... We're just... Can we come back to that in a second, Richard? Can we come back to that yeah, in a second? Yeah, okay. It's fine, it's fine. Team router. How are we doing that, boys? Same thing. Do crickets. the same thing. Crickets. I get well. crickets. <laughs> 
what Alan, what does that tell Alan, you? jump in here, Alan, please. God help. What does that tell you? Can, you get, can, I, can I get one of those beers off you, Chris? <laughs> it's, all yours. it's all yours. You're gonna need a bottle opener though. There oh, you go. I'll be right over. <laughs> you you mentioned the rat when you hear crickets. What does that tell you? <laughs> <laughs> it is gonna be the exact same rules. Okay, and okay, let's do the exact same rules, and then let's do a time frame. So, what is the time frame? Uh, we're gonna do November through the end of the first of December, or what, what are you guys thinking? Or do you want to do them at the same time, starting now and ending October 29th? How do you how do you participants want to handle this? My my gut feeling would be to do it at the same time because I'm going to assume that a router project would probably take me less time than a scroll saw project, and maybe vice versa for. Jamie, is that, I, I don't know, but that would be my yeah. initial, initial yeah. thing. So if we did it over the same period of time, that basically gives us, you know, equal amount, doesn't it? Because he can mm -hmm. just knock out a portrait in ten seconds, and I'll do okay. ages. And do, do you want to do you want to do a theme for the router, or do you want to just do whatever you feel like doing with the router? I'm happy uh, to do whatever. Crickets. I'm going to kick the backside anyway. Well, you know, I'd, yeah, if we, if we do whatever, I mean, I'll probably do a Halloween one because it's, it's Halloween. And actually, that potentially is two Halloween videos for me this year. Okay. That's still being used by a complete fool. Okay. Then, and, and, okay, so same, same guidelines as, as the scroll saw. Uh, quick, <laughs> quick, quick question because some of you sneaky son of the guns uh, will probably think of this and go, ooh, and start giggling and not tell anybody. Uh, CNCs are not allowed, even though CNCs use a router, correct? Yeah. Well, Jamie'd already put some rules in place for this because he's been posting like a lunatic with the whole router okay. challenge giveaway haven't you james so what rules could you, yeah. we kind of thrash something out yeah there's you're not allowed to have any jigs whatsoever it's standard base only handheld free uh free hand routing that's it oh richard's already out that no that, that, that kind of works because it kind of it kind of goes with the whole scroll saw thing doesn't it because you know you don't you've got to do yeah. it yourself free hand just at all um so okay, freehand only. So no circle cutting jigs or jigs that you can do sitting upside down or standing on the ceiling or anything like that. All right, now, okay, that was easy enough. So same guidelines, same timeline, same theme, Halloween theme. The only difference is one is the scroll saw and the other project has to be done on a router. Now, Richard, yeah. let's get back to your question. Who else can get involved or can anybody else get involved in this? Yeah, I think anyone I'll, should. I'll say, I'll say anyone could, yeah. Do yeah, we have... Jamie, do we have, and can we reserve, and do you think it would be okay with Chad if we reserved uh, the Mancrafting Makers International mug for October as a giveaway to anybody else besides you two who gets involved in this? I don't There's a reason we hired you, Chris. So, I'm, Alan, I'm telling you, if we don't do it now, it's yeah. not getting done. You know that as well as I do. So, I mean... <laughs> He gave, he, I mean, he gave us one couple months to give it away, so why not give it away to the winner? Perfect. So we have the contest, we have the timeline, we have the theme, we have the prize. Yeah. Oh, see, guys? And that only took, uh, <laughs> that only took, oh, God, a half an hour. It's just half done. <laughs> that so works. Clock up early now. <laughs> now, what do you Easy want to do? Me? Yep. <laughs> what do you want to do okay. for a podcast today? <laughs> no, that does work. Perfectly. Um, oh, Chris, yeah, you didn't click go live. We've got to do it all again. <laughs> 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 you know, that's probably a better option anyway. That way we'd sound like we knew what we were doing. <laughs> <laughs> sure. <laughs> yeah, no, no, that, that, that works perfectly. So all we, do we need the hashtag? Should we work out a hashtag? Has anyone put anything uh, in the chat for a hashtag? Hashtag WTF. Yeah, can you imagine going through all the social media platforms looking for WTF hashtags? Yeah, pro yeah probably not a good one. Yeah, there'd be a lot of there. Uh, well, what about the ones that you already created, Jamie? Team Router and Team Scrollsoft? Oh, there's already yeah, that hashtag. Yeah, See, I, I'm just doing some thinking again here, guys. I mean, <laughs> everybody just went completely blank there. <laughs> what, uh, not on OTS. Naughty? What? What about makers, makers INTL? Help me! <laughs> 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 I 
<laughs> Makes his eye in TL. Can't be helped. <laughs> so Make Joe just came, That's perfect. Make his eye in TL, yeah. No, Joe's the only smart one so far. He's just totally stayed right the heck out of it. He's just over there in his corner giggling, going, I'm not getting my feet wet in this until they've decided what's going on. Okay. So, Joe, how are you doing, buddy? We didn't see you last week. We missed you. Yeah, I know. I missed our first anniversary, but hopefully the flowers and chocolates will make up for it. I thought we need <laughs> to have a stern talking to with Joe. I thought we were going to break up. <laughs> no, yeah. it's not Christmas yet. Break up just before Christmas, so I'd have to get you a present. Oh, that's right. You get according, according to Joe, you don't get back together again until after Valentine's Day, because it's just yeah, cheaper. It. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to be batching it from the 24th until the 15th of February. <laughs> See, and luckily the, the birthday light isn't midsummer, so I can still have a decent run in between. <laughs> I'm not even gonna ask her name. I'm not even gonna ask. <laughs> oh, oh, good God! Oh my grief! Right, Ooh, so we're all sort of... nine votes. Scroll saw three votes to router. It's terrible. That's fine. That's gonna change. Because that's gonna change. My phone's here. I just need to log into my 32 YouTube accounts um, <laughs> and just. That'd be fine. We'll win it. Easy hands down. So, Jimmy, Jimmy, it, let me, just because it, we're really limiting who can get involved, does it? Does the scroll saw absolutely positive, pos positively have to be a record scroll saw? No. Okay. So, anybody who has a scroll saw that wants to get involved, yeah, anyone, anyone who wants, uh, anyone who's got a scroll saw can get involved. Okay. So, so as a matter of fact, it's a dual seven eighty eight to a, a sixteen inch record power, or, or there or otherwise. Okay, so you know what we need? We need. I just I'm just getting this together before we all forget. We need another prize then, because we have two contests running at the same time. We we got one prize, which we already talked about, is the Mancrafting Makers International mug for the scroll saw uh, challenge. We're gonna need another prize for the router challenge. What Ooh. do you guys think, Joe? We're gonna give, give away. We never give away. We're gonna give away. <laughs> <laughs> How about I tell you what I, I, I I'll offer it up. How about I we give away a Makers International polo shirt? Sounds a good deal to me. Same that way. works. It it comes it comes embroidered right here with our logo. It, it's white, so don't wear it in your shop and don't spill coffee on it. But yes, I, I we can do that. We'll get one of those, and that will be for the router. For who win the router? Jamie's got there one in go. his hand because I, I I got one for Jamie when we went to Atlanta. And if let me click on Jamie so we can see him. Hold it up again, Jamie. So people didn't see that. You got one for Richard as well. It's at my house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was going to ask you about that too, Jamie, because Atlanta was how long ago? Uh, I don't know a while. It was. It was yeah, yeah, and, yeah, and I gave it to Jamie because I said, oh, he just lives you know, right next door to Richard in the UK. He could just pop that over to Richard, and Richard still doesn't have it. I've been busy. He keeps challenging me. You know that this this leads into a question that I had that without that that, you know, that Richard wasn't going to let me address at the beginning of the show, um, and 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 if and this first half hour of this show hasn't already answered this question for you, my friend, then I don't know what will. The question was: Would you guys ever consider doing a build collaboration together? Where each of you does a certain part and then passes it on to the next person until it's finished. Not a chance. <laughs> <laughs> you just witnessed what happens with us trying to put something together. If we ever try to do a build collaboration, uh, the end date on us finishing it would have to be like a year from now. Yeah, nobody, so, nobody care by the time it gets to me. <laughs> uh, I, 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 actually, uh, I actually would. If Richard was to program his CNC and then give it to me. Oh. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll do it if it ends with me and all I got to do is put Polly on it and then get to keep it. <laughs> No, he would have to end with Jamie if he still got that T-shirt because he'd never pass it on to anybody. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think I think that's an awesome question and a fantastic idea. I just think there are five other guys in the world that should probably do it, not us. That's all. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Definitely not our thing. <laughs> probably never going to happen. Anyway, because then we'd argue about what kind of wood we were going to use. I mean, well, and well, not God obvious. knows how many different species of wood there are out there. <laughs> There's more than one. See, then, then it would turn into Alan, Team Walnut, and Joe would be on board with that. And then, you know, it would just get ugly from there. So we, we don't can want to stretch this out for like 50 episodes. 
<laughs> Team plywood. plywood. Yeah. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> no birch. No birch allowed. <laughs> We know, I'm a fossil wood kind of guy. Um, we, yeah, we know how much Chris loves MDF. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Mm. <laughs> Not so much. <laughs> oh, man. I actually like scroll saws more than I like MDF. If that, if that helps you out of there. I'm going to go with Team Plastic. I don't even want wood. Yeah. I honestly don't see what people's drama with MDF is. It's going to murder you. <laughs> Know, but that's why we have masks. Kick him out now, Chris. We, we, that we wear as belts. We, we, we don't have time. I'm supposed to. I'm supposed to wear that thing on my face. <laughs> not now. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. Uh, just for the, uh, the the other four, not Richard. Everybody here who loves to work with MDF, raise your hand. Answer. There you go, Richard. <laughs> that was a lot of crickets. <laughs> <laughs> So we're all we're all sorted on on the um, the challenges. Yeah, about us scroll saw anyone Halloween, yeah, October twenty ninth ends the October twenty ninth. Yeah. stuff starts right now, and then so, and then Richard's going to be in charge of setting up something on the Facebook group Makers on YouTube to where these photos can be displayed for entries. I, mm -hmm. I, I'm not looking. Somebody tell me that Richard's writing that down. Yeah, I am. Literally, I'm writing that down. <laughs> <laughs> No, we're all we're all good. Uh, okay, um, question, um, wait a minute. No, question number two here. Do you guys listen to any other podcasts? And if so, which ones? Because this one's going downhill fast. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good question, actually. And it was a point you've just reminded me. I was going to ask you guys about. But yes, I do listen to other podcasts. Yeah, no, I listen no, to uh, what turn is what turn is anonymous. That's. Uh, Make his view. Wait a minute. What term is anonymous? That's Carl Jacobson, Braxton Wordland, and Jason Roush, correct? Okay. Yeah. And that's SoundCloud, iTunes. Are they on all the socials and have their own website and fun stuff like that? Uh, I, I think I listen to it via their website. Oh. I'm not sure if they, if they go via any other means. Okay. Um, make his viewpoint. Um, I'm not familiar with that. Why, am I, why, why, why don't I know about that podcast? I've advertised it for them on our uh, Facebook page before. Well, I, know, I, never, I never heard of that myself. Yeah. All right. But I, I'm writing that down, Mick. Okay, go ahead. I'm sorry, Jamie. What else you got? Uh, obviously, Reclaimed Audio. Um, I listen to Maybe uh, I've Said Too Much. That's with Izzy, uh, Joel, and yes. uh, Mike Laffey. That's a, they, they, yeah. they, that's a relatively new podcast, but those guys kill it. I mean, Laffey's – both – they're all three freaking hilarious. But yeah, I, Joel is the succinct one. You know, Joel's just the one who walks in and says, the answer is, don't be a dick. Uh, and <laughs> <laughs> Laffy is, is just nuts. And Izzy is obviously, you know, amazing. Um, so who, uh, who else do we, uh, do, uh, I guess there's making it. You know, it's the big three, Jimmy, Bob, and David. Um, what, Joe, I know you listen to some stuff, don't you? What, what podcast do you listen to? Um, I don't even make it to my own. Never mind listen to anybody else's. <laughs> <laughs> no, wait a minute. See, Joe's lying because he has to edit. He has to edit each of these uh, podcasts, so he does have to actually eventually listen to us. Thank you, uh, Joe. Joe has to tricks up his sleeve. <laughs> Joe has to go through Not the cell twice. Really. <laughs> Alan, what about you? Uh, my favorite podcast is called Hollywood Babylon. It has absolutely nothing to do with making. So, okay. Oh, here we go. I've just thought one that isn't making. It's um, on Linus Tech Tips YouTube channel. It's the one I, show. So there's a lot show. of people who's actually in, interested in technology and computers and stuff like that. That's a good one to check out. It is. I want to say, though, the only, I, I do listen to uh, Reclaimed Audio. I've always really loved those guys. Yeah, those guys rock. And I'm, I'm, just, I'm just looking on my podcast app on my phone because that's where I tend to listen to them like when I'm driving around. Um, does anyone watch the Video Creators YouTube channel? Uh, oh, uh, Tim yeah, Tim Schmoyer. Tim Schmoyer? Yeah, no. I used, to, we, I used um, to live by that when I set up my channel originally. I think that's why it did so successful in the early days. Um, he, he's got a podcast, and I don't listen to every single episode. <laughs> that, um, explains, that explains why I'm where well, I'm at in the community. <laughs> no, 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 no. Because, because of the topics he covers. Like one, of the, one of his recent episodes was when to officially trademark your YouTube channel name. And, and that's not something that I'm interested in. I'm, you know, I don't need to do that. 
So I not listen to something else. So the, he, he covers all sorts of you know, various things, um, brand deals and getting discovered. And he does consultations with people. And there's just, it's quite a broad, t- it's like making stuff rather than being into scrolling or turning or, or whatever. It covers everything. So that, there's that one I um, listen to. And there's another one that's, it's actually a UK based one. Um, Falls with Tools. Has anyone heard of that one? There's a couple of British guys, which I think they're blacksmiths or metal workers. And they, they get together and, and talk about um, New to me. kind of making, making stuff as well. They're definitely on Instagram. Absolutely. Oh, didn't, yeah. didn't we uh, just Donnie, recently... Sorry, uh, Donny Carter, the Green Woodworkers podcast. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I remember. Okay, yeah, I'm sorry about it. I forgot about that one. Awesome. There is a lot of Thank them you, now. Jim. Thank lot. you, Jim. And I know a couple of guys are actually talking about starting up an oh, and the Dusty Life podcast too. Of, of course, right? Yeah. And then, Dusty Life, yeah, yeah. It, well, wait, what's what's the podcast called that uh, that Mark Spagnolo, Matt Cremona, and um, and uh, Shannon? Is Wood that Wood Talk? Talk? Yeah, Wood Talk. Talk. Okay. See, now they're all coming back. All right, yeah, got so it. Like the, the original <laughs> Micah podcast. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it really was. I think I think it was like the first yeah. one, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Didn't um. Crikey, if you want to go back to originals, wasn't it um, Matt's Basement Workshop? Didn't he start originally as an audio podcast before well, was, YouTube was, with, was even like a... He was with Spagnolo and, and, and Shannon. Yeah. yeah, he was on Wood Talk. That was, that's the one we're talking about, Richard. He just he's Matt, uh, Matt Vanderlist is who you're talking about. He stepped aside, and that's why Matt yeah. Cremona is on that podcast now. So they switched one Matt for another. Yeah, but uh, didn't Matt Vanderlist have his own audio thing? Because he... It was like watching I don't, a YouTube video, but it was audio only. Because I, I seem to remember listening to him and listening to Mark oh, Spagnolo right. separately on two different like, podcasts. That's, that's possible. You know what? That's possible. That's going back in the day. Uh, but Jim Bashir's just reminded me. Wes Swain and the boys, they have a podcast called Making Geeks, uh, which, is a, which is a cool podcast too. So thank you, Jim. Jim's all over this. I love it. Thank you, Jim. There, there's, yeah, Craft Podcast. Scratched modern, modern maker podcast. Okay. Oh, awesome. scratched. Yeah, scratched is one of the best. They're not doing it anymore, but they're amazing. The um, the, um, the Matt Vandalist podcast is Spoken Wood podcast, and it looks like back in two thousand and twelve that was actually going on. Yeah, I mean, I, I can remember listening to that before my daughter was born, and she's nine now. Yeah, five years ago. Five years ago. That's cool. Well, you know, they're, they're, they're well, speaking of podcasts that were out there, probably still out there on social media. If you haven't heard them, Faking It was a fantastic podcast. That was with, uh, um, God, uh, a whole bunch of people. Uh, Andy Berkey, uh, who else was on that podcast? I'm thinking uh, uh, Rod Ray. Well, well, well done. Well done. And yeah. uh, Andy from, from the I Like to Make Stuff group uh, Facebook page, the guy who was the admin there. Yeah. So. yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Enjoy. Enjoy. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. I guess that's uh, I guess that covers that question. All right, well, that, and that's what makes this community so, and just something else that makes it good because there's something for everyone in every little kind of niche breakaway faction, turners, reclaimed people, just generics, and people who are interested in smaller subsets. Yeah, literally something for for everyone. Um, so that's what we're listening to. And we normally, towards the end of the show, we start talking about what we've been watching. So that potentially could be a good segue into what everyone's watching at the moment. So anyone want to kick that one off? Or should we announce the winner first? I think we should do that, yeah. Yeah, let's do that then. Okay, then we can, we can kick off with you, Jamie, and the rest of us can put our feet up for five minutes. Okie dokie. Right. <laughs> the winner. Of the man crafting mug. Oh, and doesn't uh, our, our, our logo is on there too, right? I think so, yeah. Yeah, okay. I think so. <laughs> it's yeah. just an afterthought. I'm just... <laughs> if, if you if win, you, uh, let us know, won't you? If you, if you look at the bottom, <laughs> I'm going to cut my logo a bit, the bottom of it as well. There's a hidden surprise for you. <laughs> <laughs> right, uh, first of all, um, I, I, want, I, I want to say thank you for the, the 500, 511 entries. That was shocking when I saw that. Um, but the winner was entry number 389. And uh, I'm really sorry if I 
mispronounce your uh, last name. It's uh, Jamie Page. <laughs> 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 would win, wouldn't he? <laughs> Congratulations. Who's that guy? I've never heard of him before. There's Jamie Page in the audience today. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> The, no, well, I'd love to squantify you on the grounds of it's you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, in that case, uh, the winner is uh, Doug Niner or Doug Nina. So, again, I'll, I'll, I'm sorry if I uh, pronounced his that? last name wrong. It's from uh, Boydtown, Virginia. Oh, or Boydtown, okay. Virginia. You just, uh, so, you, you just dedoxed him. <laughs> yeah, I will, uh, I'll, pa- I'll pass your information over to... Um, Chad, and uh, you'll hear from him very soon. Awesome. It's kind of a nice, fuzzy feeling that we've just given something to somebody. Right. And is anyone else getting that, or is it just me? Oh, don't it's worry, I'm going to hand your ass to you soon. <laughs> it's not, it wasn't the giveaway that's giving you that feeling, Richard. Um, <laughs> well, it definitely wasn't Jamie. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Right, so what have you been watching then, Jamie? Who am I watching? I am watching, as soon as I can get back to my notes again, I am watching our good friend um, Nick from NZ Woodturning. Mr. Zametti. Now, awesome. yeah, and uh, he made a light um, out of matchsticks. Uh, now, he had a bit of a, he had a bit of a problem with the, uh, the resin. So it was actually a, um, a let's say a happy accident uh the, the project that he made and the, the reason for the shout out um is not well there's actually two reasons one it, the, the the end product was just beautiful uh for starters and i don't, I don't, think, I don't think it was intentional but it, it it did come out brilliant but halfway through the video nick i'm not blowing my own trumpet and then the and then the, the video cut away to him blowing a, tr- a trumpet and I just about <laughs> fell on the floor laughing. It was so funny. <laughs> so, <laughs> and I, 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 <laughs> I just could, I honestly just couldn't stop laughing. Oh, so, like if, you, if you just, if you just imagine Nick just saying, "I'm not blowing my own trumpet," and I'm like, <laughs> 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 it, oh, oh, it almost killed me. Um, it's, uh, so, it's hard to blow your own trumpet, but you got to admit we've all had a try. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, uh... <laughs> that took me a second, and now no. and now I have to leave. <laughs> have a good night, everybody. <laughs> so, I oh, my God. hope you're right here. So, uh... That's why dog owners are envious. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh yeah. Uh... Let's get it back yeah. on the rails, <laughs> Richard. Help me. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm, 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 trying, I'm trying to be the serious one here. That's <laughs> Joe. That, that was such a wholesome joke. You could tell your mother it, and then I thought, no, you couldn't. <laughs> Sorry about that. So, so anyway, uh, uh, <laughs> welcome back to the show, Joe. So, yeah, oh. my, so my shout out is uh, Nick MakerCentral.co.uk Zametti. <laughs> That's awesome. Nice one. Right. Uh, Joe. <laughs> dare I ask? Point to me you're, a, you're a brave man, Richard. Okay, let's just <laughs> jump into the lions just then. Get, Joe, what do you got? Pack it pack it all into the same beer and then we can move on afterwards. So that's <laughs> the, the, the thought process there. Well, I haven't um, actually had a chance to watch much YouTube this week, but someone I always make time to watch is Al's Hack Shack. And he done a quite a different video this week, kind of following on from the whole table saw tacos trend. Sorry, Chris, but that's how it started. You he's actually made. Me. Oh, go ahead. <laughs> he's made um, hack bench jalapenos. So he actually starts off by making like pickled jalapeno peppers that he actually grew himself. But then what I really like, he goes into making triple cooked chips, and he goes over the distinction of actually what chips are, because I think the Americans have got it totally wrong. Like you're mixing up crisps and chips and that the whole business. So he actually clears that up for a start. So it's worth watching it just for that. But his humour, as always, it's on point. It's well worth watching for the laughs alone. Video editing, everything about it, brilliant. Check it out. 
Good stuff. I um, I, I was I was actually quite surprised that you, you were going to say anything because I know you had issues with your um, your internet, didn't you, Mr. Branson? Oh no, yeah, I only got it back on Friday, so I don't know what was going on. Oh blimey! Yeah. Th- that literally a whole week without without internet. That must have been. Yeah, no, it should be getting a discount at least. So. <laughs> Yeah, that's that's what I was gonna say. I'm just to take you back to the 1980s when growing up, did you like go and play yeah. play football in the park and stuff? Yeah, you've got waiting for dialogue because someone's on the phone. You can't get on Google. <laughs> Chris is like, I have no idea what you people are talking about. I'm, I'm not even. I'm not even going to venture. I'm leaving this alone. <laughs> well, what have you been up to then, Chris? Are you? Um... Well, I, I tell you, anything, working on anything? My, well, let me do my shout out, Richard. Um, I, I offered, ah, uh, yeah. Uh, you know, it's trying to stay on the same theme before we move on to the other things. It's just, I don't know, it's called organization. Um, I, um, I offered my shout out uh, up to our listeners this week. I went on our Facebook page, Makers International on Facebook, um, and I said, hey, guys, how about instead of me picking out a channel uh, to... Uh, shout out this week that you guys uh, find a channel that you think deserves some recognition and throw it up there and I'll choose one. And I had a whole bunch of people. Look, I had a whole bunch of people that, uh, that offered up suggestions. So there was a lot of love being shared there. I think that's just awesome. Thank you for everybody who uh, offered up a suggestion for me. And the, how I picked this is I closed my eyes and I pointed to the piece of paper and wherever my finger landed, that's who won. <laughs> so the woodworking junkie. Yeah, no. My, <laughs> <laughs> I like that it's printed. Could I just point it yeah, at the screen? Everything is printed here. Yeah. I, I printed it, and I, I pointed. And, and I Chris closed my eyes it. and pointed at the paper. <laughs> Joe, stop it! Um, you've already thrown this it, off it, rails once. It, it's fine though, Joe, because that's recycled paper. Chris makes his paper out of his own sawdust, so it's all like biodegradable, eco-friendly. Sorted. You know. Absolutely. And then when I'm done with it, I burn it to keep warm. So. Um, <laughs> The the person my finger landed on, excuse me if that was uncomfortable, uh, was uh, <laughs> that was your fault. <laughs> Just don't sit down, okay? I need the finger. Um, well, <laughs> was Richard Martin? Richard, thank you for your suggestion. He suggested uh, Bongo from the YouTube channel, The Poultry People. Awesome channel, uh, awesome recommendation, Richard. Thank you for the uh, suggestion. And Mr. Morley, you're gonna like this one because the last video they put out on that channel was a hand routed Sesame Street sign. So that's gonna hit you mm-hmm. on two levels: a router and what you watch normally on television. So I think that's fantastic. Yeah, but but Bongo, I think Bongo does quite a lot of routing stuff, doesn't he? Yeah, yeah he, he does. does. And I'll have a, and, so, and and just FYI, there will be links to all these shout outs in the description when this comes out on Wednesday. So there you go. So Richard, thank you for that. And it would certainly be really cool if my fellow podcast mates on a weekly basis, one of them offered up their shout out for our listeners to possibly get involved and offer up some suggestions as well. That's just a subtle hint. I did that last week, but I did it very privately. <laughs> Oh well, do it. I got do it. it from public- <laughs> no, if it's not done, if it's not done publicly, and if there aren't pictures, it just didn't happen, Alan. Didn't so count. <laughs> make it happen. Okay, well, I'm gonna give you a shout out now. Uh, this week, I'm going out, going with Waylight Creations. We talk a lot about what gives us Ryan. inspiration. Yes, Ryan and Amy Bitters. We talk a lot about what gives us inspiration in the shops, and it just so happened in this past week. I somehow have become re-addicted to their channel and have been using their free downloadable templates on their website and everything. And I made this awesome Batman shelf for my living room and everything. So Waylight Creations, Ryan and Amy Bitters, great people. He was the host of the the Scratch podcast that I love so much that he completely quit. So I can't listen to anymore. So great, great. May, I, uh, may I add that they're scroll sawers? Yes, I know they're scroll sawers. And I had to use the scroll saw to make the Batman brackets for my shelf. <laughs> I didn't have a choice. I didn't have a choice. That's where it falls under. Sometimes it is needed, but I still hate it. Uh, Alan, <laughs> Alan uh, Sterling's in the chat, and he's, he just wants to mention to you. He says, uh, "Alan, you know that they're scroller. They're scrollers, don't you? You know that you know that they they scroll saw. Uh, only a little bit, just a tiny, <laughs> tiny, hey, tiny. Don't hold it against them. And I, I also, try not to. I don't hold uh, against Jamie either. <laughs> and also, out in the chat, we're getting a lot of votes to add uh, Gerald, the Redsmith, as a permanent member to our podcast. Apparently, because everybody out there wants uh, wants Redsmith to do a podcast." So no. mm. that deserves a conversation. We, maybe That's we should, we, uh, Gerald. Maybe, maybe we should talk, buddy. I mean, if you're that freaking popular, maybe we, should God, you know, we could freaking use you. <laughs> <laughs> Are you any good at organizing a show? 
<laughs> yes. I can see the interview now. Can you organise stuff? Do you <laughs> like the scrolls? Better English. Can you speak better English than Joe? Could, <laughs> could you take my place, please? <laughs> <laughs> Nobody's going anywhere. <laughs> This would fall apart without any one of us. Uh, I, okay, there you go. I'm, I'm, I'm on Team Redsmith, so uh, I'm with you guys in the chat. I think Gerald's an awesome guy. I would love to have him on. He's got um, my vote. Uh, Where is he from? I think Redsmith is a man. France. He's France. I thought so. Okay. We did so he's about an, is he an, is an hour ahead of us or an hour behind us? I, I'm not sure. Hour ahead. Be fairly close to you, right? Yeah. Just over the water. Yeah. Mind you, you're just over the water. What's a water? Hey, we're international. I mean, we, we, we could use a Frenchman, you know. A war. Everybody can use a Frenchman. Because, you know, when we want to talk dirty to chicks, he's, he's the guy to go, hey, do me a favor. Gerald, would you? <laughs> he's going to pick up chicks for me. <laughs> you silver tongue bastard. Make, make her love me. Make her. Right. <laughs> make I don't even know if he's interested, but he's hired. He'll be here next week. <laughs> and that's a non paid awesome. job, by the way. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, I hope you don't want anything for it. <laughs> you get nothing. Just, just, out of, just out of interest, Alan, when you say that you, you did the same as Chris, but you did it privately, did, did you, were you talking to Wayluck Creations and, and they say no, no, no. you should do us a shout out? No, they have no idea. I just, That's how it came across. No, I mean, last, just, last, last just, week my shout out was Temple Boy Turnings and I gave him that shout out because I happened to be speaking with Mike Atkinson who listens to us every week. And I said, I don't have a shout out. I got to go on in like a half an hour. Who should I do? And he was like, uh, Temple Boy Turning. So, done. I was like, all right, we'll give it to him. Wow. So I just wasn't listening makes, to anything the prior week, and I didn't want to do nobody, so I happened to like Steve, so I give it to him anyway. Awesome. Why not? Why so not it was not public. Has anyone, <laughs> has anyone been watching um, Andrew Klein's channel recently? Yes. Anyone, did you, have you seen his new – he's got like a new – product idea design thing that he's launched for some this this intrigued me i'm i'm, I'm not decided one way or the other but the, the whole concept of this whole product completely intrigues me he's brought out a new system for doing router templates with uh, new you know like you know like normally when you you know you make a pattern you put plonk it on top of whatever it is you're cutting and then you flush trim around the edge but then you have to either like stick it or clamp it and do or brad it or whatever. And sometimes, I mean, as, as everyone except for Jamie will probably realise, with, with routing <laughs> clamps is like <laughs> they're, they're kind of your, your, your best friend and your worst enemy all at the same time. They can be a pain and whatnot. Basically, he's got like these. Um, they they kind of remind me of those floor mats, the rubber floor mats with like the jigsaw puzzle around the edges. Oh, so, you yeah. can piece, so you can piece them together but, and make a big mat if you want so you, to? Or? So you can piece them together yeah. and make a really big big template. But then you flip them over and underneath they've got like a, a grid pattern that's been CNC'd into it, like a perpendicular channels, parallel lines. And then these clamps that fit into those channels. So when you, you make your pattern out of this template material, which is like a MDF and hardboard composite layered thing, cut it out, clamp it on, and then you can flush trim all the way around without the clamps getting in the way. You just have to move the clamps twice. And it, it, it seems really intriguing. It actually is interesting. And, he, and, he, and what you're getting to, Richard, is that he put a video out on this, right? That's right, yeah. And this is, this is like an actual product that's kind of hit the market. So um, awesome. potentially Blink could help a lot of people out. So, yeah, all good. Is anyone working on anything interesting that's noteworthy at the moment that they want to talk Jamie? about? Halloween scroll saw project, maybe? Yeah, I'll be doing probably doing that. I've got to do a plaque. Um, for my auntie want to uh, get finish get back uh, get back home. Uh, finish off doing the queen. Uh, <laughs> why, 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 why do I always find that funny? <laughs> well, well, I left her tied up. One week he's drilling the queen, the next week he's finishing off, he's finishing off doing her. Oh, she's gonna get arrested. <laughs> uh, <till he has. laughs> yeah, like, okay, I'm, going, I'm going to her house on the way back home. Yeah, I wouldn't go. I wouldn't go near Honestly. Buckingham Palace for a while. If I were you, that's just, just a yeah. thought. If he's not already on some kind of register, it's not going to be long, is it? <laughs> Make sure you vlog it for us. I, I'll do it live. 
As opposed to dead. That's the beer. As opposed to dead. I'm just going to drag his body out front the ballot. <laughs> Drop him in a sign out front. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Joe, what are, what are you working on? Please tell me it's a charity and we can all go aw with something for the children's hospital. <laughs> just move us off. It's still charity. Sanding a lot. Headstock. Doing, I've got that layers of plywood that have been all glued up into like a cylinder. And I filled it all today. So I filled all the gaps and voids in the plywood. So I've got to sand it all again now. And um, before we move on though, Sterling's asked that for some reason, I'll tell you what the tally was for the vote for Scrolls or Rota. But I think it must be. Um, Faulty or something because it's saying 11 votes for scroll saw and only four for router so I think it must not be working or for something. There must be it must be a glitch in it. Must be. I think so. or, no, 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 no. I know what the answer is. I know what the answer is. And and Jamie, you're not as smart as you think you are. Jamie didn't just wake up. He's been spending the last two hours drumming up people uh, to come vote for this freaking thing. That's where he's been. That's why he was late today. That's it. Yeah. All Hashtag right. scroll Scott scroll saw scam. I'm not a part Scroll of this gets. challenge. I don't care. I'm super happy. I'm <laughs> Chris and I, we get to sit back and watch this thing go straight to hell. Uh, you don't. You've got a scroll saw. I'm not scroll saw on anything. <laughs> I, should, Actually, Sam, I, shouldn't so that, I shouldn't mention that I have a scroll saw too, should I? I shouldn't. No. Yes, you, you should. No, I, no. no I, won't. Me, Chris, I won't. I won't. I, I won't. Mine Just recently broke. Shut the hell so. up because you'll end up getting dragged into this as well, like I Every did. Every single member so, of the nope, podcast owns a scroll saw. Yep. And I'm guessing every single member of this podcast also owns a router. Yes. So what's your point, Jamie? Mine's really good. <laughs> Everyone on this podcast should get involved. Probably not going to happen. No. Anyway, so what are you working on, Alan? <laughs> let's, change, let's change the subject as quickly as possible. <laughs> I just had to actually look on my bench to see what's going on. I'm not actually making anything. I was uh, pr practicing uh, dovetails earlier today for a few hours. That's the best of work I've been able to put in this entire week. Just a bit of practice on handmade dovetails. Good stuff. How, how are they coming out? Gappy. Serious question. <laughs> Gappy. No, Gappy, yeah. If, 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 if I rub the sawdust in there and I take the time to clean it up real nice, they look pretty, but they're not perfect yet. I just never have the time for fine woodworking or to put the time in. To, I need to quit my job, to be honest with you. <laughs> <laughs> or quit my family, one or the other. <laughs> or, or, or join Team Router and buy a jig. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the Cat's Moses jig. I, I can make them well, well with Cat's Moses jig, I can tell you that. You that's, that's not a plug, it's true. Can you do, can you do I, I, dovetails on a scroll saw, though? Ooh, there's a challenge. Yes, you can. John Heiss can. <laughs> No, Jamie. Yes, you can't. <laughs> no, no, oh, I, I can't. Can. <laughs> no, I can't. <laughs> I can. It is technically possible. I think is the answer. Yes. Well, you can yes, make it with. Can. A, you can do them with a chainsaw. I believe I've seen them done. Yeah. They weren't very pretty, <laughs> but they look. Yeah. They were dovetails. Richard, Richard, I'm not working on anything. I'm working on trying to finish this hour out in one piece, and we're already five minutes over, and Joe's giving us an ugly look. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's, um, that, that's pretty much the same. I've, I've got a few things I'm working on, router-based, scroll saw based blah, 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 but I'll go into that next week because I'm kind of halfway down a rabbit hole at the moment, and I'm not quite sure which way it's going to gonna go, so I'll, uh, I'll leave you all wondering on, on that front. But it is router and it is scroll saw based um, Where can everyone be found just do the socials and then we can all go to bed joe well i'm at average joe's joinery on youtube facebook and twitter and average joe's photography on instagram wicked jamie uh you can find me on youtube at jp woodwork twitter and instagram at jp underscore woodwork or you can find all our social medias at magazinecentralpodcast.com not makercentral.co.uk <laughs> 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 Chris, <laughs> every week, I love him. Uh, you can find all my. That's going to happen till May, by the way. You, you you can find all my stuff on makersinternationalpodcast dot com, where you can also don't forget we're doing a giveaway for the Toolmasters Association, a one year membership. We'll be giving that away. The drawing or the entries are going to be open from now until I believe midnight on Saturday. Is that correct, Jamie? Yeah, that's correct. Yeah, so and from it will be, the winners will be announced next week. 
So you've got from now until midnight on Saturday to get yourself entered in that. We'll be doing that giveaway next week. And that's, uh, once again, you can find that at makersinternationalpodcast.com. That's correct. Wicked. How about you, Alan? Are you flying around on the socials? Oh, you can find me on Facebook and Instagram and off and on, sometimes kind of almost on YouTube under the Woodworking Junkie. Wicked. So that, I think, just about wraps up tonight's show. Everyone seems to be nodding. Joe's got his hands together in prayer by the looks of it. So uh, <laughs> make sure you subscribe to anyone and everyone. Check us out on our socials. I've been Rick Morley. You can find us me at brainfoods.uk on YouTube under my name. So once again, thanks very much for listening. If indeed you are still here, you do all take care. Have a great week, everybody. There are a bit. Good night, everybody. Have a week.